Hey guys, back to Project F Production Miata. Uh, I kind of skipped some of the teardown on the old wrecked car. Uh, you can see it was sitting on this lift. It has been completely stripped and gone to the scrapyard. So hopefully it'll get a new life. Um, but here we are. We've moved the new chassis onto this lift and all of the seam welding is complete as well as the floor drop and the mounting plates for the cage. So we'll take a quick look around and uh, you see how things have progressed and we'll go from there. What you want to do on a unibody car is increase the stiffness of the chassis. We do this by welding every place where there's a seam. We do this throughout the entire car. This makes a big difference on preventing flex. So you can also see that the mounts for the roll cage are installed, welded in. Uh, I like to install these up against the rocker. This is a really strong part of the car. In the old days, you'll see people put plates into the floor. Well, these floors are really light duty. So there's really no reason to be installing your plates into the floor. Same thing back here on the rear shelf. We will not put the plates to the floor. We'll go to this rear shelf, which is much, much stronger. You can also see that the floor drop has been installed. This enables a couple of different things. It makes the floor much stronger. It also extends the tunnel slightly um, to give us more room for a proper seat and gives us a nice flat base to mount a really quality race seat to. So this is a big part of doing it properly and making sure that uh, the driver stays safe while he's bolted into the car. Now the other thing that we've done up to this point is installed the pedal box. It's just a set of stock pedals actually in the steering column. So the next step here is going to be getting our customer in the seat and in position. Because what you do is you want to make sure that he's very, very comfortable. Driver comfort in a race car is one of the most overlooked things. I see so many guys with with uh, old race seats that, do, that don't fit right and they just are sliding around constantly and nothing seems, you know, if you're not comfortable in the car, you're expending way too much of your effort trying to hold on. So that is why we're going to be using a really, really nice race tech seat for this project. So just to give you a quick little tour of all the parts, the black car, which was wrecked, is now sitting here basically in pieces. All of that car is sitting right on these shelves, ready to be checked over, reinstalled, and make sure that it's perfect, perfect, perfect. When you, whenever you're building a new car like this, you want to make sure that every piece that you put on is pristine and perfect, because we're basically attempting to make a brand new race car. So every little detail makes a big difference. Check this project out. Tony Ave built GT1 Trans Am car, fully tube frame, 358 small block Chevy making about 850 horsepower. Uh, it's actually a car we've worked on before. It's here for the winter to get all sorts of things fixed. Unfortunately, um, the engine that's in the car has an issue. We don't know exactly what the issue is, but uh, customer reported low oil pressure. And uh, so we've got a new engine that we're working on, but I thought I'd give you guys a quick walk around of just how cool these cars are. This is exactly how it came off of the tracks. So you can see there's still a bunch of rocks on the tires. The car's kind of dirty. Uh, you can see the engine's kind of dirty. You know, it's just kind of filthy right now. But we're going to do all sorts of fun things to this car this winter, including the engine change as well as a transmission rebuild. 
this car has a sequential X-Track transmission and uh, needs to have some new dog rings installed and just a general check over. There's always things on, especially on a car like this, these cars have so much power that they kind of eat themselves up. And uh, so it's just really hard on all of the components. But these things are so cool. I mean, this is, this is some next level stuff. So have a great opportunity to spend some time with this car this winter and, and uh, be able to show you some of the details. Uh, this, this particular car is a Cadillac body, as you can see. Of course, the hood and the tail, tail are not on it right now. But just a really, really cool car. Always kind of a fun thing to work on a car that's this technologically advanced, um, very expensive, and uh, I think you guys will really like to see kind of what we're going to be doing as the winter progresses here. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day.